These are the Nigel Hawthorne shoes that were specially made for the Nigel Hawthorne feet. I'm afraid they've been hurting him terribly, but luckily they've now stretched to fit. It's seldom possible to buy what is supposed to be an ancient costume or garment. I buy my stuff uh, ready to go from the mill, because it's not only better, it's also far cheaper. And then it goes through a series of processes. It's dipped, it's dyed, it's uh, distressed, foxed. It does, I hope, give the effect of considerable age, neglect, and wear. Be back behind those lights. In contrast to the impoverished Lord Ogilvy of Nigel Hawthorne, we have Essex man Timothy Spall, who uh, wears this sumptuous red velvet with hand embroidered buttons and very bright gold trim. And he wears these red breeches with their split fall front, handy access with that, um, and this stripy waistcoat with hand-painted buttons by me. Roll camera. Please. The plot of this film is far too complicated to summarize in one sentence. It is about love, class, it is about a marriage of convenience, lust, and about a man who is trying to marry off his daughter's money, the highest bidder, a marriage that shouldn't have taken place that has, and the matriarch of the film and its pivot is the character played by Joan Collins. This is possibly the silliest dress I've ever designed. The real danger of the actress looking as if she's wearing her own duvet has to be avoided somehow. And as you see, it's an absurd confection in uh, lace and uh, pink chiffon, and she looks glorious in it. I must say, my admiration for her courage knows no bounds. I mean, she is wearing a wig that's two foot high with a boat on it, for heaven's sake. <laughs> this particular fabric is some, from my favourite shop of, uh, which specialises in Indian textiles in Southall. I was very, very pleased, as indeed were the costume makers, to find this scalloped lace uh, also in, in Southall, uh, because it meant that at least my dressmakers didn't have to make each and every scallop individually. Tonight it, was, it will be hidden by this cloak, at the moment cosily lined with one of Joan's old uh, fur linings. I'd like you to meet Alan Fling, who is my genius costume supervisor, Aye. without whom this would definitely not be happening. Most people seem to think that making a film is all romance and beauty, but in actual fact there's a lot of hard work that goes on behind and a lot of people work who really don't get any credit for the matter. And apart from the fact that we have to watch